six, um, Alison Roman won't return to New York Times after Chrissy Teigen drama. And it got me thinking, is Chrissy Teigen the most powerful person in Hollywood? Or maybe in entertainment? Like she got at DJ Academics fired, right? If you believe what you read online and read between the lines. DJ Academics went on a bit of a Henny Field rant and somehow got into um, insulting John Legend and then somehow got into then insulting his wife, Chrissy Teigen, um, which was very left field and out of nowhere. But according to him, she'd been saying stuff here and there about him, um, you know, sending some uh, indirects, as they say, I'm not tagging him in a tweet. And he obviously uh, felt a bit annoyed by that and decided to call her some mad names live on Twitch. Twitch then had to suspend his account for a, um, a couple of weeks. He was suspended from Everyday Struggle. And then eventually, guess what? Everyday Struggle's not in the air anymore. Even Everyday Struggle is probably one of the, I'd guess, the most successful maybe after Hot Ones or something like that, which they don't even produce themselves. It's something that Sean Evans just brought to Complex. But in terms of a you know, in-house thing, Everyday Struggle, even after Joe Biden's departure, was very, very popular. So for them to pull Everyday Struggle and say, hey, we're not doing it anymore, either they just couldn't come to you know some sort of conclusion or negotiation that would make sense for everybody in terms of the new contracts, or there was so much pressure behind the scenes you know, with people like Ak involved that they had to kind of cut the show off, especially if they wanted to get rid of Ak, they couldn't have continued it on because you know I'm sure you could survive you know, everyday struggle could probably survive with Joe leaving and keeping Ak, but you can't survive with having, you know, none of the, you have to have one of the original two on there. But yeah, this got me thinking, I was like, bloody hell. And Alison Roman, you know, as you guys are aware, she got involved in a little bit of a passa passa with Chrissy Teigen early in the year about some cookware bullshit. And then suddenly she got cancelled online. She wrote an apology, groveling at Chrissy Teigen's feet. Chrissy Teigen then wrote a letter, a note thing, talking about how much she loved uh, Alison Roman. She was disappointed. They ended up reconciling. But since then, you know, Alison Roman's um, life has never been the same, really, isn't it? <laughs> it's really bizarre, man. These people are so powerful. It's absolutely insane. So it's actually, in it's actually funny whenever they talk about the patriarchy because, you know, who's got more power that there's not many men that exist, especially in the entertainment industry, that would have as much cancelling power as Chrissy Teigen. I don't think so. But anyway, this is the article. Alison Roman announced that she will not return to the New York Times after taking a break from the gig following her controversial comments on Chrissy Teigen. She said, It feels like a good time to formally announce or mention I won't be returning to New York Tea Cooking, the former com columnist for 5 Row on Instagram on Wednesday. I'm proud of the work we've made together, but excited for this new chapter, which includes more recipes, videos, and writing over a net newsletter and beyond. A spokesman sub guess she's going to start a sub stack. Whenever people leave corporate jobs in America, the first thing they do is start a sub stack. So definitely watch out for a sub stack coming very soon and make sure you, uh, I don't know, buy a subscription, whatever it may be. And um, it continues. A spokesperson for the New York Times told Page Six on Wednesday, Alison decided to move on from the Times and we're very thankful for her work with us. Roman's column was temporarily shelved back in May after the writer bashed Chrissy Teigen's uh, trajectory in the food world in an interview with the new consumer, which I didn't think was a big deal at the time. I definitely thought I, I think you're allowed to hate especially if you're somebody of you know of notoriety I think it's quite refreshing when they come out and say hey I'm quite jealous of that person I just didn't like that they made it into like a white woman versus a POC woman thing that was just bullshit it's just two women being catty who work in the same industry kind of you know throwing darts at each other or one of them throwing darts at each other it is what it is but anyway this is a quote what Chrissy Teigen has done is crazy to me Alice Rubber said at the time she had a successful cookbook and then it was like boom line at target boom now she's an Instagram page that has over a million followers where it's just like people are running content farm for her that horrifies me and it's not something that I ever want to do and I don't aspire to do that now of course at the time when you read that it definitely sounded like somebody that was jealous it definitely sounded like somebody who wanted those same opportunities or it definitely sounded like at the very least somebody who was questioning how somebody that they deemed to be less talented than them was able to progress that quick in industry fair enough comment to make nothing really that big deep but again when it comes to Chrissy Teigen you know every little um every single indiscretion is treated as if like the biggest insult in the world so you know it made sense and it continues she added but like who's laughing now because she's making a ton of fucking money. 
At the time, Tegan35 said that she was disappointed that Roman called her a sellout. This is a huge bummer and it hit me hard. I've made her recipes for over the years, bought the cookbooks, supported her social media and praised her in interviews. She tweeted, I even signed on to it because it produced the very show she talks about doing in this article. Oh, that was a big one anyway. But the funny thing is, is that um, she didn't call her a sellout. That's a bad term to use here she basically questioned her legitimacy of her career because she feels like, you know, it's unearned success. She didn't call it a sellout. That's not what a sellout means. It continues. Um, she added, I generally loved everything about Alison. Was jealous she got to have the book with the food and the cover instead of a face. I've made countless NOS in New York Times recipes and she's created some posts all along. Again, she always try Chris Egan has an excellent way of making herself out to be a victim in every way shape of purpose you know what i mean she she kind of leans into it right this is kind of one of those things where you could have easily just replied with hey i saw what chris Ellison Roman wrote although i'm disappointed because i'm a big fan of hers i totally get it you know what it, i don't know you could just say something like that and move on but she just leant into it and was like woe is me and she got out an even bigger violin like come on man give it a break um Alison roman did apologize to tegan saying hi at Alice, christy tegan i had on twitter i'm generally sorry i caused you so much pain um she said <laughs> being a woman who takes like and being a woman who takes down other women is absolutely not my thing and don't think it's yours either i obviously failed to effectively communicate that i hope we can meet one day i think we'd probably get along roman who has also criticized marie Kondo in the same interview did acknowledge her white privilege and blamed her on securities <laughs> i love the double back apology i love the honest point of view right in interviews or podcasts where a celebrity will go up and say something honestly about you know a certain thing that they've been asked about right to expound on and then also like that the next day or two when the public are you know or some section of the you know twitter blue check mark journalists out there are, are are kind of you know put out of place like, oh, i can't believe she said that then they have to double back and apologize it's always funny <clears throat> She said, I need, to, I need to formally apologize to Chris Teigen and Mary Kondo. I use their names disparagingly to try and distinguish myself, which I absolutely do not have an excuse for. It was stupid, careless, and insensitive. I need to learn, respect the difference between being unfiltered and honest if you being uneducated and flippant. Days later, Teigen and Roman finally squashed their beef with the cravings of her tweeting that she accepted the apology. Thank you for this, Alice Roman. To be clear, it never once crossed my mind for you to apologize what you generally thought. The comments stung, but they also stung because they came from you. It wasn't my... Oh, she's such a hate so much um it wasn't my usual news break um for some random person hating everything about me um because you make it very easy to be to have people hate you and Chris critique and god almighty shut the fuck up um i still think you are incredibly talented and in an industry that doesn't really lend itself to supporting more than a handful of people at a time i feel like all we have is each other despite their reconciliation new york times <laughs> column was still put on hold <laughs> see all that dancing all that apologies all that crying it didn't do anything so you're better just like saying hey i said what i said set up your sub stack and keep it moving look what she done she did like that for nothing despite her reconciliation roman's new york times cooking column was put on hold with a spokesperson at times telling us she was on temporary leave <laughs> the model uh publicly called on the times to reinstate roman but to no avail in may roman shared all that she was working on the exciting projects i made a break from the times yeah i bet you were um this was a huge shake up for me both personally and professionally i'm still Still processing so much but now but know what i'm working on and thinking about 24 7 show on instagram the issues brought to light by this whole thing will be fixed up at night and the healing process for me is gonna be long but i'm committed to doing the work and get better look at this young lady man chrissy tegan destroyed her life because she dared to say that chrissy tegan's success isn't earned and it's somehow manufactured that she has people working in a content farm churning out material for which she probably does have if you're a chrissy tegan you probably should have a content farm full of um you know community managers putting stuff out for you why wouldn't you you're married to john legend you're a former model you're you know got millions of followers that makes all the sense in the world but she's also allowed to say, as a Roman, as like a single white female, grafting her way through the, the you know, the gutters of, you know, New York Times uh, cooking uh, columns and shit. I'm not sure how many page views or stuff that stuff gets, right? But, you know, like, she's more than within a right to say, hey, how the hell did she get that? That's not fair. I'm better than this girl. And then, you know, your whole career comes clum comes tr crumbling down because of it. Absolute shocking state of affairs. But yeah. I wonder, is Chrissy Teigen the most powerful woman in Hollywood? Let me know in the comments down below.